Jaguar stopped making the dear old XK last week, so the car you see here really is the last of its kind. It's called the XK Dynamic R and it's basically a cut price XK RS with a little bit less power for an awful lot less money. And it really does represent the end of an era for Jaguar. Quite unlike the all new and deeply desirable F-Type Coupe, which costs a little bit more, boasts a touch more power and is massively more modern beneath the skin. So the question is, can the old XK still show the new F-Type some tricks? And what can Jaguar do to make the next XK quantifiably better than the excellent F-Type? Still a lovely thing to look at, the Jaguar XK. And in quite a lot of ways, it's still a, it's still a pretty lovely thing to drive, but there are areas in which it feels a little bit antiquated nowadays. The chassis is definitely one of them. I mean, the chassis in the XK, you could, if you were being harsh, but you know, based in a little bit of truth, you could actually trace the chassis of this thing all the way back to the XJS. So if the new XK is going to improve on one single thing at all, it should be the chassis. I mean, it's, you know, it's not bad, but the ride is just very frisky nowadays. The steering is, you know, it's, it's all right, but it's very, very far from being the last word. And it just feels a bit, a bit neurotic nowadays, to be honest, especially on a bumpy road like this. As XKs go, this new Dynamic R is actually pretty good value because basically what you're getting are most of the juicy bits from an XK RS for the price of an XK R. Okay, you don't get the full fat 542 bhp engine. Okay, the XK weighs quite a bit more than the F-Type and it doesn't have just as much power but it's still a very, very rapid machine. Both cars use the same engine fundamentally, Jaguar's rousing 5-litre supercharged V8. In the F-Type, it produces 542 bhp and lights up the rear tyres via an 8-speed semi-automatic gearbox. In the XK, it produces 503 bhp and drives through the older 6-speed automatic gearbox. First thing you notice straight away in the F-Type is the driving position. It feels as if I'm sitting about a foot lower and right over the rear axle, which is its lovely driving position in the F-Type. The ride is also instantly more comfortable over the exact same road. The steering just has a precision to it that isn't quite there in the old XK. The brake pedal feels instantly more, more solid underfoot. The throttle has better response to it. Pretty much everything it does instantly on the move it does just with more precision more accuracy more and yet more refinement at the same time there aren't these kind of sharp edges of response that you just get in the xk from time to time they're just not there in the f-type coupe it just feels like a fundamentally better sorted just more dynamic and better car basically and when you put your foot down my goodness me does the f-type v8 coupe go <laughs> it is outrageously quick this thing it, i mean on a road like this it, it kind of borders on feeling too powerful and too quick for its own good but that is just so long as you know what you're doing as so long as you you know very big decision to use this finger to press the traction control button and turn it off because then you really do need to know what you're doing and on a road like this i think this car could get away from you quite quite quickly even in the dry but the traction control is you know it's a good system it works well it, it works for you not against you and it's just oh, it's just a proper hot rod this car it really is the gearbox also works just way better way faster way more responsibly in the F-Type than it does in the XK. Oh, it's just, it's just everything about it. It's, it's not just the performance, the, but the performance in the F-Type is hilarious. It's, it's just everything it does on the move. It feels miles lighter on its feet as well. 
So if the point of this little kind of video was to work out what Jaguar needs to do to the next XK to make it as good as, if not better than the F-Type Coupe, I'm kind of struggling to work that one out because I'm, okay, I think that the rear axle could just be calmed down a little bit in the F-Type Coupe. It feels pretty rabid sometimes, especially on bumpy roads. So maybe they could they could improve that a little bit and improve the traction a little bit and just maybe make it a little bit more calming and refined and more like an XK. The, the F-Type just feels like a wild animal <laughs> and that wouldn't really suit the XK. But beyond that, I think all they've got to do is make it look beautiful and then drive like the F-Type Coupe and they will hit the sweet spot. But for the moment, for the time being, the XK gets absolutely thumped by the F-Type. Since shooting this video, we've been told by Jaguar that the XK is now not going to be replaced. Not for the foreseeable future at any rate. There are people within Jaguar who believe this to be a travesty, but then there are others who, quite understandably, would rather see the company build an SUV and make a lot more money in the process. Whatever the truth of it, the XK is gone for the time being, after 18 years of loyal service. We at Autocar will miss it for sure, but for now it seems, it's time to move on.